Hey everybody, this is Dirk and I'm going to be sharing with you my MR22 uh, test. I'm at the Strata on Earth. I'm in the practice area next to Cephalon Samiris. And I'm going to go for my qualify mode. Uh, there's the qualify message. If I fail, of course, I'm going to have to be able to do this. I won't be able to do it for another 24 hours. Uh, just to let you know, I am doing this with a Loki and a uh, Tigris Prime is going to be my weapon. Uh, I've been practicing this and this seems to be the best combination. My first tip for you on the test is to drop yourself an energy pad if you need energy. There are energy uh, balls available, spheres in the test, but they're very limited. So what I do is I go ahead and drop my uh, pad and I start gaining energy. If you notice, um, I'm already at 440. I do have a prime flow on this Loki and uh, it can hold a lot of energy. I also have an energy siphon as my aura and I have a coaxating drift which enhances that energy siphon. So I'm going to be generating energy for myself. Uh, using the Loki, if you notice, I have only 315 shield and 315 health. Uh, the reason being is because when I'm a Loki, I'm always invisible. Sanctuary is good for this uh, mission because I can usually one-shot these enemies. I tried it with the Soma, and the Soma was just wasn't strong enough to take them down with one shot. So I just basically are hunting them down. I've already killed three of them. I need twelve. I need twelve kills in total to pass this round. Here's another thing that some people are not aware of. I know I wasn't aware of it. With the Tigris, it is a double-barrel shotgun. There are two barrels. Uh, if you just hold your R, if you tap your R2 button, you're going to fire both barrels. The way to fire one barrel is to press the R2 button, but hold it. And then when you want to fire the second barrel, you release it. This I was not aware of uh, until I saw someone else and they shared it with me. Yes, it's a double barrel that has two triggers. So basically what I'm, my main concern here is I want to watch my invisibility. I'm looking for enemy to fight, but I'm also watching my invisibility timer. I don't want to become visible because they can one-shot me and kill me. So I find a group of them, and I get, I think, two of them with one shot there, if I'm not mistaken. And now I see my timer is running out. I go and hide, and then I reactivate my invisibility. If you know I have a really high duration, I have 26 to 27 seconds of invisibility with this build. So I'm up to eight kills already, nine kills. I've only need a few more, 10 kills. I need two more kills and I will be finished with this first part. And that last kill is coming up shortly. Now the second part of this test, the second round is going to be a health drain. And what it does is uh, it's going to drain my health and every time I get a kill, um, it's going to refill my health for me. Um, so I'm just again hunting on that last one. I get it, the round is now complete. So I'm going to start the next one. I go invisible and it even tells me it's a health dream. That is the modifier for this. It's almost like a, um, a nightmare mission. So I find the first guy and I try to melee them. Now, the reason why I'm trying to do a melee here is because I found that I practiced before that they were easy to melee and I was getting my health up really quickly. Um, but but you have to, I had to be right directly behind them to get that one good slice to get a, a, a single shot kill which I was finding harder and harder to do. You see there, it took me two to three swings to kill that guy. So I decided to go back to invisibility and I'm, I'm still using my sword, but I'm seeing that it's not as effective as my Tigris. So I decided to go back to my Tigris. I believe at some point I just start shooting him one shot there. I just blew him into three pieces. So I've got five kills now. I need 13 more. I go ahead and grab a focus enhancer there. And now I am looking just to find another one some other enemy to kill. And my concern here as well is because it's draining my energy. You've got to keep the pressure up and getting kills. Now, if you notice here, they saw me for a few seconds. I was very fortunate. My health dropped down to 115. And then I hit a fire patch there. It dropped down to 15. I do get a kill and it boosts me back up to 315. Again, this is very low shield, low health, low key, because if I'm invisible, I don't... Uh, plan on being shot by enemies. So I go down to 115. I get my kill. It pushes me back up to 315. I mean, I now need eight more kills to finish off this round. So again, I'm hunting. I go become visible, go back to invisibility. And there's a nice grip of them. Now, if you notice here, um, with these enemies, I'm, as soon as I hit them with my, uh, with a the shot, they go down. Uh, they're dying. Um, now that's a Kavat, just as an FYI, the Kavats don't count as kills, I just killed it, didn't count. 
I need to get this last guy so that I can end it. I'm chasing him with my galatine. Cannot catch him. I'm losing health and I finally got him. Now the third round for this test is going to be scalable enemies. You see scaling enemies? That means they're going to start off at like level 40 and they're going to increase in strength or armor or the, the, their level. So if you notice right there, that first guy, he's a 40. And I think I hit him, barely hit him, and I hit him with my Tigris, and I, and I killed him with a one-shot. Now with these guys, they get so strong that the Tigris cannot one-shot them. That guy I one-shot. But they get to be, when they get into their 60s, the Tigris, when I one-shot them, it's not killing them. But just to share with you this build on my Tigris, a friend of mine, Brawler, showed me a build where uh, I have about 19,000 radiation damage and about 13,000 viral damage. So the thinking is when I hit them with a shot, the radiation will strip away their armor and then the, vir the viral uh, will attack their flesh. So it's a two-fold. You can go straight damage. Where I think I've gotten this to St. Pete Tigris. I got it up to uh, close to 40,000 on-screen per shot damage, 40,000. But with this split build, again, 19 for radiation, 13 for viral. So you'll start seeing some of these enemies, I'm still one-shotting them, but you'll start seeing them turn on fire. As you can see, they're, they're fighting each other now, because I'm not sure if you're aware, but what radiation does, it confuses the enemy and it makes them fight each other. Loki has an option called, uh, you can put an augment on called the Radiating Disarm that hits the enemy with so much radiation that they end up attacking each other. So these guys are, you can see he's a level 54, he's a 53, um, he's a level 54. I one shot him, I hit him, he does not go down. He withstands the Tigris. But they are fighting each other now because the radiation is, is making them crazy. Which is pretty cool to have them distracted and, and fighting each other. And all the while I definitely stay invisible always wanting to use that strength. That is Loki's strength. You, can, you don't shoot when you can't see. I also have equipped a first invisibility augment, which means that at 100%, they cannot hear my gunshots because enemy do react to your gunshot, the sound. Since I have that hushed invisibility on, they don't hear my gunshots. I could be standing right next to them and they don't even know that I'm shooting. So I'm really excited about this group. There's a big group down here uh, that I can shoot and kill. And to finish my test, I need one more kill. And this last kill just seems like it takes forever. You can even see the viral and radiation damage icons popping up on the enemy when I shoot them. There you have it. That is my version of the Master Rank 22 completion. Uh, I get an additional loadout slot. Uh, that means that I, I am going to also get an additional trade every day. Um, there's the stats. Uh, I had to do 63 kills, uh, 2 headshots, uh, 20 melee kills. I am on my way back uh, to the Strata. Uh, again, I was doing this at Cephalon Samaras. For people that don't know, if you go to Cephalon Samaras, when you walk in to talk to him, if you walk to the right, uh, you can practice your MR rank test before you can take them. There's a whole slew, a row of icons that you can choose from that allow you to do that. Uh, once again, I'm landing here um, in uh, the Strata on Earth. And uh, that is my way of doing the Master Rank 22 test. There I am, Rank 22. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy gaming.